getting warmer. Yeah. Yeah, you probably don't need that jacket. Yeah, well, I haven't been to the Jeep to take it off yet. Don't you have like production crew for that? <laughs> when you're off road, sometimes even the most experienced driver can get into a situation where you can't be aware of everything around your vehicle. Technical wheeling without breaking things is all about situational awareness. Sometimes you'll need to have an extra set of eyes to spot you. Enter the spotter. Spotting can be exhausting work. You need to keep the situation straight in your head and perform physical tasks. Climbing over boulders, running ahead on the trail, stacking rocks. You need to be aware of everything around the vehicle. Sometimes this means you need to ask for input from spectators. Spectators, however, shouldn't be expected to be experienced spotters unless you know they're experienced spotters. Just because they're out on the trail doesn't mean they're seasoned wheelers. It just means they're out on the trail. Maybe they're still learning from your example. So be careful who you ask for what and what you're expecting from them. Some circumstances can benefit from a second spot. However, if you're going to spot as a team, you need to have a feel for the co-spotter. And one of you should be the main spotter and the other an assistant. The driver should know who's who. The last thing you need is the driver getting mixed signals from spotters who aren't all on the same page. Yep, it's generally spot. best to keep spotting to one person. But if two spotters can be in sync, it can make things a lot easier for the spotters and the driver. Take it. Just Drive watch how Blaine and I seamlessly hand off spotting right here for Tammy. I don't think we even realized we did it. As the spotter, you need to be aware of what the driver can see. Sometimes the angle of the vehicle prevents them from seeing out, out of the windshield. The spotter needs to remain aware of that and do their best to remain in the driver's vision. If the driver can't see the spotter, the spotter isn't doing their job. As the driver, if you can't see your spotter and you're not sure what to do next, it's best to stop and let the spotter know that you can't see them. Communications with the driver is also very important. You need to make sure they know what's going on outside. It helps their comfort level and it helps them know what to expect. If you're depending on a spotter, you need to depend on their eyes. Don't spend too much time trying to see things on your own that the spotter can probably already see. This just means you're not paying attention to the spotter. And as the spotter, the driver has placed their well-being in your hands. Don't let them down. Mistakes happen and sometimes damage is unavoidable, but you need to give the driver your attention. And do your best to get them through the obstacle with the least amount of damage. As a spotter, you need to think ahead to the next obstacle, not just the obstacle the driver's currently on. Sometimes you need to line up the next obstacle to get the best line. Nate, you want to reposition?
He's going to hit the control arm. Yep. Oh. How's it looking up here? He's going to want to go Ooh, hard. hard for now. Hard as you can. I think we got to take him to that. Up over it, yeah. Pop up his driver yeah. here, yeah. You can go low forward a little more, I think. And then. A little more. You're going to ride up on this rock, okay? Right there. Take it slow. Someone get pictures. <laughs> As a driver, you need to trust your spotter. Again, spotters aren't perfect, but you've chosen to trust them, or else you wouldn't be listening to them. Trust their advice, and don't spend too much time second-guessing them. Most of the time, they have a better grasp on the situation than you do as the driver. If you can't trust your spotter, you shouldn't have agreed to let them spot. Get a little tippy. Oh, I hate tippy! Fine, come on, you're good. Straighten it out. You're going to run right around this rock and come down and like 15. Oh, my God! Here he comes. Watch the language! <laughs> Cut it high! Cut it high! Do you like your soft top? Cut it, well, a little further, a little further. Now cut it back. As far as you can. Oh. Are you sure? Sure. <laughs> Keep going, you're coming down, you're good. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I feel sure. like I'm gonna roll. You're not gonna roll. Are you sure? I'm sure. Oh my god! You're coming down, you're good, you're good! No! No! Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> Keep it there! Oh. Awesome. Holy shit! Oh my god! Everybody else bypassing it looks yep. like? Yeah, you're the bomb. <laughs> it's not that I didn't trust you. <laughs> It's that it felt very tough. Oh my God, are you sure, are you yeah. sure? No, I've been there, trust me, I've been there. Well, there you have it, folks, an intro to spotting. I'll say that that was a pretty fun day out on the trail. I got a lot of compliments uh, for the uh, the spotting that I did for folks. Um, I got some folks through that nice black trail that's been featured all over this video. Um, to be honest, that was my first time spotting through that, that trail. I haven't even driven it myself yet because my Jeep's not capable of it. Uh, it's all a matter of applying these principles to any trail you come against and, uh, you know, figure out what uh, what the vehicles that you're spotting for are capable of and judge whether the drivers themselves might be able to get through the trail that you're trying to spot them through. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll say that spotting is almost as much fun, at least for me, as driving on the trail is. Uh, I really enjoy helping people get through obstacles. I like the... Uh, uh, the feeling of accomplishment that they get out of it, and uh, well, to be honest, it's it's why I do what I do. It's why I guide, and it's why I uh, I like helping people out on the trail. So uh, yeah, I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel because I like to produce videos like this. If you found this one useful, subscribe, and hopefully you can see more. Thanks for watching. <laughs>